Hi, welcome to this tutorial in Orca with Open Office Suite. In this tutorial, we are going to touch upon an interesting application called a spreadsheet. So, start the screen reader using the Alt plus F2 and entering Orca. Welcome to Orca. Right control. Let's now locate the Office submenu in the Applications menu. Press Alt plus F1 to open the Applications menu. Right Alt, Top Expanded Edge Panel Frame, Applications menu. Use the down arrow to go to Office submenu. Down, Accessories menu, down, Education menu, down, Games menu, down, Graphics menu, down, Internet menu, down, Office menu. Now, open the submenu by right arrow and locate the spreadsheet using the up arrow. Right. Dictionary. Up. Tasks. Up. Open Office Not Owned Word Processor. Up. Open Office Not Owned Spreadsheet. Hit Enter to open the application. Return. X Nautilus Desktop Frame. Icon New Layered Pane. Applications Menu Menu. Untitled 1. Open Office Not Owned Calc Frame. Sheet Sheet 1. Table. As you heard, Orca announces that an application called Calc is opened and the file name is untitled by default, that there is a sheet by the name of Sheet 1. Well, Calc is the official name for Open Office Spreadsheet. So, let's see what we can do with it. A spreadsheet is a set of rows and columns. A row is denoted with numbers such as 1, 2, 3, etc. And columns are denoted by alphabets such as A, B, C, etc. While columns are vertical, rows are horizontal. A cell is an intersection of a row and column. So a cell by the name A1 is an intersection of the first row and first column. Let's move around with the right arrow three times. B1 C1 B1. As I explained before, columns are vertical. So, when we move the right arrow, we are actually moving from one column to the next, keeping the row constant. That's why we hear B1, C1, D1, etc. Now, similarly, press the down arrow once. B2. Now, Orca says D2. This means that we have now moved from first row down to the second one, keeping the column constant. A spreadsheet is used to manage tabular data. Let's take a simple example. We will make a mark sheet for a group of students. The sheet will contain marks for three subjects, namely computers, English and history. So essentially, we will have four column table. The first column will be name, second column computers, third column English and fourth column history. Let us move up to the first row. Press up arrow to hear Orca announce D1. D1. Now keep pressing left arrow till you locate A1. C1, B1, A1. Enter name. N A M E. Press right arrow to move to the second column. B1. Type computers. C O M P U T E R S. Computers. Again press the right arrow for the third column and type English. Right C1. E N G L I S H English. In the fourth column, we will type history. Right B one. H I S T O R Y history. Now press the down arrow and come in the next row. B two. Since the column D has not changed. The cell you hear is D2, but we want to go to the first column for filling the name. So, press the left arrow three times. C2, B2, A2. 
Also note that the row is 2. Thus the cell we want to locate is A2. Now type a name. I will type Suresh. S U R E S H Suresh. Press the right arrow and enter the marks 50 for computers. Right B2. 5 0. Move to the right to the third column and enter 50 marks for English as well. Right C2. 5 0. Now to the fourth column for history. Right B2. Type 75. 7 5. Let's repeat the process for another student. This time our starting point is A3 because we are in the third row and column A. Enter the name as John and then move to the next column by right arrow. B3, C3, B3, A3, J, O, H, N. Since we are in the B3 cell, it means we are under the column for computers. Right, B3. Now enter 80 for computers and press right arrow. 8, 0, right, C3. Enter 55 for English as this is the column for the marks on this subject. 5, 5. As we had put history in D1, we will move using right arrow to D3 and put 40. Right, D3, 4, 0. Well, this is a good enough sample. Now we will press Ctrl plus S and press backspace to delete the default file name. F. Row inserted at save name colon text untitled one selected backspace untitled one. Enter a name of your choice. I will enter mark list. M A R K L I S T Return Marklist.org frame. The default format for spreadsheet in OpenOffice is ODS. So we have learned the concept of a spreadsheet and how we manage tabulated data. So that's it for this tutorial. This is Supriya and Duhita saying goodbye.